same guy. Okay, we got. Fro I actually haven't played Frost in a while. I'm, I'm, I wonder if I haven't beat it on some of the uh, servers. I feel like I haven't played uh, this map in a while. Now, okay, so we saw his style, right? He likes a little bit aggressive on drops. He opens the one base build, though. I don't imagine him opening on a one base build again. And I really don't feel like I play that well against that one base build. And I kind of didn't play, uh, like, if it was the Hellion build, I would have been in a better spot. But it was actually just a Widowmine drop, right? So I actually, you know, slowed my slowed my expansion down a little bit more than I really had to. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I, I'm considering going Disruptors again, but... We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, we opened double Immortal before expanding last game, right? So, was that good? Was that bad? Not sure. What's up, Lucky Strike? How you doing, Manchester Shady? How we doing, Coco? What's up, guys? I'm good. Be a bit better if I could figure out why my Protoss is so bad. Me too, man. Me too. Me too, man. So we'll see where he is. Um, I mean, I don't know exactly where I'd want him to be. Uh, I guess probably cross spawn. Uh, I mean, the issue though on this map, especially versus Terran, is when the map expands, like, there becomes, like, imagine it is cross, right? We have these four and I, and I have these four, right? What's saying he won't just go rally something here, rally something here, rally something here to my third, and I just, you know, I run into trouble in all three of my bases. So, like, that's the issue with cross spawn. Like, he could, if he wanted to, just rally to every single base, queue up a medback drop, and I have to deal with th things at three bases at once. <sighs> we'll see. I actually scouted Cross for some reason. I scouted Cross first, so hopefully I scout him, and now it looks like I'm cheating. Okay, he shouldn't really guess that I scouted Cross, so... I also will let this probe finish, just because, uh... Well, I actually was supply lock until I lost that probe. But, uh... Yeah. I've only been tossed for two days now. That might that might have something to do with it. I, you know, I'm not gonna say 100%, but okay, the Ripper's not here yet. He's going for the engineering bay block, which actually might be a bit annoying considering I don't have uh, an overcharge for it just yet. Should have brought. Where would this be useful? I guess he can jump up over here, can't he? Really? That is a bit annoying. I didn't realize like where that was uh, blocking. So I'm switching the location of these two. I'm bringing my mothership core up here to deal with that area and my adept down here. I think it's a little better like this. Looks like he wants to jump into my base as well. I'll teach you a thing or two. Oh, now it's the adept build. Oh, this is really bad for us. I didn't know this build happened. We actually handled that like better than we should have. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to rewatch the replay, but I don't think I took a ton of damage to that. But that could have been that should have been a game ending moment for me, I believe, in my opinion. And it might still be maybe I took too much damage from that. Uh, I think I think a liberator will follow this up almost always, so I think I'll get a pylon in position for that liberator. Because that's what I'm imagining. Usually when they open like robo stuff like this, it becomes a liberator follow up. So that's where my mind's at right now. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna get a third gas and go for a faster third than I'm gonna do. I did see something on the mini map right there. Could have definitely been a liberator. I think my third base I'll take is this one. This one first. Mm, yeah, I suppose. Suppose. Not, not super thrilled about it, but not the worst thing. 
And like we can still definitely lose because this is a style I don't really do a whole heck of a lot. Very fast, like a pretty fast third like this. Um, but I think, you know, with this exact way that we've opened, it's not too bad. I would definitely like to get more gateway units. I definitely saw something on the minimap. Now, was that an SCV? You know, I, I, I'm not really sure what it was. It was a Marine. Just got around. I think. Well, we'll see how this goes. No pylons to warp in here could be an issue. We don't really know what he's gone for, if he's gone for a fast third or not. I guess I could scout, that'd probably be a good idea. Looks like he's playing defensive with that widow mine there, so I would imagine probably a third base is being taken. But this is exactly the issue I was talking about on this map, where you can run into that spot where you just have, you have such a lack of vision. You just don't really know. So he might just start getting really aggressive with double drop here. Does he not have a third here? then he will be getting very aggressive. Like, very aggressive. He does not have a third, so it looks like he will just be going relatively all in here. With him scanning my army, it feels like a, d a drop is coming from somewhere. Not sure where, but it feels like a drop is indeed coming. Get a dark shine, because he's only on two CCs. Right? There's the drop. Yeah, so this is the big push. With everything. And this will be definitely tricky to fend off, for sure. So he's gonna try to kill my. Uh, yeah, he's gonna try to be killing my stalkers here. Cause he's setting up for the liberator. The question is, where is he setting up with the liberators? Wow, that's really big. I mean, I know he had a very late third. Could he have just expanded? Oh, let's go. That's huge. I got two liberators there and a bunch of his army. And if he doesn't see these DTs coming, he's going to have a world of trouble. He does, ha he does have scans and a bunch of stuff, so that's good for him. Still, look at all these SUVs that are dying. They're relatively free. He's just not even dealing with these DTs. I know there's Widowmines underneath, I'm just going to go around here. Two Widowmines right there? Oh, actually I actually got one. I got none? 
It's a huge shot because that was actually my last disruptor shot right there. I mean, those DTs got insane amounts of work done. That's really, really good. Colossus, maybe, I actually did think about Colossus search tracks. No lie, I didn't say it aloud, but I definitely thought about going Colossus, especially because I knew he was going for a lot of pressure, and Colossus definitely could have been more <laughs> reliable for sure. I 100% thought of Colossus. It's a lot of widow mines. That is a lot of widow mines. So the vision on my side of the map is actually quite good. I'm gonna go around. Looks like he's gonna try to surround. That's what it looks like anyway. He's on 1-1, one, one. I'm on 1-1 one, one as well, but I'm about to be on 1-2. Also, if he's not paying attention again, these DTs will be very good again. Just a little FYI. Oh, he looks like he did see my army? No, I don't think he did. He realizes it now. I guess this is probably a good game for Stargate. That's pretty damn good. Looks very good for us. We also killed the Liberator up here. Well won. So a lot of it kind of came off our last game, right? We saw what he was doing. We played him. We said, okay, this is his style. He likes to do a little, you know, a little bit of the aggression. He likes to do these drops. You know, he likes to do kind of all these different things. And I said, okay, he does this. He does that. And I just kind of handled it a little bit easier. I said, I'm going to go for a little bit faster, a third. And, uh, you know, we got a good economy. And he didn't get a ton done with his early aggression. He doesn't get a ton of the early aggression. So we just kind of take the, take the fight over.